So just a story about myself. I was at Oxford. I was going to become a philosopher. Uh, and I had a discussion with myself one day. I said, in order to be a philosopher, you have to be as smart as Immanuel Kant. I said to myself, I'm not as smart as Immanuel Kant. Therefore, I will become a doctor. I couldn't even master the syllogism. On my way to medical school, I took a course in embryology. And uh, a flatworm is this tiny worm. Uh, they're, they're, they're pretty adorable. And the experiment consists in taking a flatworm and cutting it in half and waiting to see if it says, ouch. The, the amazing thing is that after you cut the flatworm in half, about a day and a half later, the front half has regrown a back half and the back half has regrown a front half. And if you look at that and you're not astonished, look again, it's just astonishing. Uh, which brings us to, to uh, autogeny in vertebrates. So everybody seeing this started as a fertilized egg. That egg divides about 50 times to make 2 to the 50th or 10 to the 15th cells. And the cells become different from one another. You have liver cells and kidney cells and spleen cells, about 300 kinds of cell types. So I want to just quickly set the problem for you when I came into to biology from being a philosopher. Uh, it was known that every cell in your body has the same set of genes. But liver cells are different from kidney cells. Uh, uh, white cells uh, make antibody molecules and red cells make hemoglobin. And the puzzle was, how can it be the case that with the same set of genes, different cells make different proteins? That was answered by brilliant work in 1961 by Jacob and Menot, for which they got the Nobel Prize. And they showed that one gene could make a protein, and the protein could sit down next to a second gene, bind to the DNA next to a second gene, and shut it off so that it couldn't make its protein. So genes can turn one another on and off. And two years later, they published a seminal paper. They said, imagine two genes, and gene one shuts off gene two. So A shuts off B, and B shuts off A. They mutually repress one another. And Jacob Minot said, look, this little genetic circuit can have two steady states, A on, B off, and B on, A off. Therefore, the same set of genes can show different patterns of gene expression. And they fundamentally solve the problem, conceptually, of what's called cell differentiation.